welcome to Code Rush Feature of the Week. So, Mark, what have we got this week? This week, I'm going to show you options layers inside of Code Rush. Okay. Options layers. So, there are three default options layers that we ship with Code Rush, uh, and they're arranged in this uh, dialog in uh, essentially priority order. So, the sure. highest level up at the top here is the layer that is going to override all of the layers below it. Okay. Yeah. Um, this one is going to override only the personal options, and the personal options uh, is the kind of default layer that you set. Sure, that's your that's your options that you've had presumably for years because of how much you've been using Code Rush. Exactly. These are your your um, default options. In fact, if we come on here, if we select personal options and we click this button here to open up the folder. There you can see right there, I'm in uh, app data, roaming, code rush settings. And these are my options that I've had for years. All right, so those are our personal options. Our solution team options are settings that we can add per solution for the entire team. So just to be clear, these at the moment won't exist because as new users for this feature, there, there's nothing there. But this is this is kind of a slot into which we're going to add some some options that cover the team as a whole. Right. Now, in my machine, there might be something there, depending on what I've set. We can check that right now. If we click on open folder right here, we can look inside. And now we're looking at shapepainter.cr.team. And there's options right there. And you can see oh, I've made a change to one option inside of here. Okay, but, but there's very little in there at the moment. So, so what's going to happen is CodeRush is going to take those options and kind of composite them with your main options in order to work out what your current settings are. That's right. So anything in here is going to override anything down here. Okay. And I noticed that, that they were placed in the CR folder, the .CR folder of your solution in a very specific team folder. Yes. So you can use your source control settings and say, actually, I would like these to be checked in That's with right. my source. So right? you're gonna want and then they'll travel to other members of your team and they'll have those as a great default as well. Exactly. So this is a great way to share settings among team members. Now, you may have noticed when I clicked on here to go up one level that, whoa, wait a second, there's a personal level here and a user as well. And these levels are out here as well. And these you would not, for personal, for example, you would not check that into version control. These are um, uh, any particular overrides you have on a solution by solution basis. Yeah. Okay. So you, okay. Can, you, can, you can set up some default settings and you can set up some override the solution settings as well. And then someone who's in charge of the team is going to set up the solution team options. But one of the really cool things here is in that solution team level, we can create, for example, templates uh, specific for a solution's classes in it, like template name variables yeah. for those. So we open up one solution and we have a set of templates for working with that. And we open a mm -hmm. different solution and we have a different set of templates for working with that solution. That's really useful. So where previously we, we've got templates that are very similar to one another that expand differently based on context, you're now allowing us to add the context of which solution we're in. So there are classes that exist in one of your, your solutions that, that don't exist in any of your others because you've got two very distinct sets of code going on. But right. you can now reuse the same um, sets of sequences of characters to produce slightly different stuff that is, is even more customized to the scenario in which is operating. Right, exactly. Um, and for example, I might have a solution uh, that works on big buses and another solution that works on Belgian beer. And yep. the letters BB or Bravo Bravo could be used to reference both Belgian beer and big buses, depending on which solution sure. was up. So I can create classes or variables or new lists of either Belgian buses or, or Belgian beer or big buses. Right? And you're Something not like accidentally going to cross-pollinate that code and start making buses in your beer, which, you know, would make things just ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. We don't want to do that, right? right. We don't want to do that. <laughs> so, so it allows us to kind of develop and work in a leaner, faster way if we want to, right? If we've got a team that's organized, that we've got some, a team leader or someone in charge of the settings who's setting these up for us, we can make the whole team work faster, uh, using this, and and it's easier, yeah. much easier to share solution, share solution settings um, without uh, obliterating all your personal settings as well, right? We sure. only are adding to the settings we've already set below. Now, I'm I'm fairly sure that there are people out there wondering. Well, okay, it, it's fair enough. You, you say you can set the team options, but that's a solution team options. What happens if I mean we we have our team our, our standards, right? The ones we want to use across 
all of our projects by default. Right. Um, are we going to have to put copies of this into each and every solution? Um, you, you can do that if you want to. You can make those settings. You can also come up and you can create a new child layer. For example, okay. so I can come in here, uh, go onto my PC, uh, go to my uh, DX uh, folder here, and uh, uh, inside of CodeRush, and I can create a new uh, folder, call it Settings, or call it uh, Team Settings, like this. Okay, yeah. Like this. Let's do it like that. Team Settings. Okay, and I can say OK on it, for example, like this. Um, and this will now bring them up from here. But now what we need to do, though, is this would need to be a shared folder. So instead of sharing versus sure. via version control, because these, right, if we click on here, this is going to come up and say, well, this is part of that project, the Shape Painter project, right? Yeah. So version control can totally handle that, right? It doesn't yep. make so much sense to put this in the same version control because it's a different location. So in that scenario, your shared team options should be in a shared folder, like on Dropbox or something equivalent. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah no, that's great. I mean, okay. that, that also gives me a benefit. I, I can use uh, like a business machine and a home machine, and I've got Dropbox between the two, which means if I change my settings in one of those locations, my personal settings, because I understand we can override those as well, then those can sync home, and I'll have everything set up exactly the way I want when I get home. Yeah. So let me show you a demo of this. I'm going to delete that child layer we just created. I'm just going to work with the three defaults right here. And sure. let's kind of show how they work. When you're on the option layers page, whichever one of these is selected, when you click this button right here, you will be editing only that layer. When you click okay. this button down here, you'll be editing the entire composite of all three of these, okay? This right. button here is the same as going into the Code Rush menu and choosing options. So what you generally want to be hitting though is this button if you want to configure a, a particular layer. So for example, on solution, uh, well, first for personal options, let's go mess with that. So I'm gonna come in here and click edit on this button right here. And now this is gonna bring up the Code Rush options dialog. And let's go in here and let's find uh, a page for C Sharp, for example. Um, give me a page to make changes to here. What would you like to so do? So what about the naming conventions? Because people love their conventions, right? Prefixes, All right. suffixes, that kind of stuff. So let's do that. So I'm gonna click on naming conventions and um, let's look at instance private fields. So right now we have this main rule here, which is nothing is, there's no prefix for my instance private fields. Let's go sure. in and click edit on this and let's change our prefix actually to the word uh, personal, like that with an okay. underscore. And so that's our new prefix, okay? So we click sure. OK. So that will apply to templates and stuff that, where we generate code? Yeah, anything we're generating code where there's a, there's a private field. So let me click OK. Let me close this for a second, just here. And let's create a new private field, a variable of type double. I'll just use a template right there. And now you can see, look what it's done. Go. It's given me personal underscore there, right? That's where sure. we are. Now let's go in and make a team change. Uh, so we're going to go back to options layers. I'll select solution team options. We'll click the edit button. So we're just going to edit the solution team options now. I'll click on instant private fields and we'll come in here and we'll say edit. Notice here, there's no prefix here because for this layer, there's nothing here. That's also, right, the, the layer itself is absent of anything so far. Also notice the upper left, it shows us what layer we're in. When we're in this yeah. special mode in the options dialog, when we click from this button here, you'll see the name of that layer right up here in the upper left. Now we can come in here and we can say, okay, well, we're in the solution team option. Let's just signal that by saying solution team underscore like that. Yep. So we've set up a new prefix on the solution team level, we're gonna click OK, and we'll close this down. And now if we come in, because this project is open, and we come in and we say uh, VD again, like that, we see solution team is kicking in. Now Rory, let me open up a brand new project uh, that we haven't made any changes to at the solution team level. All right, so Rory, we're in this new project, let's type in VD here. And there you can see it's going back to my personal settings, right? Yeah, see what's happening that's now? great. Right? So that makes perfect sense because your solution team settings are actually in the CR folder of the other solution. Exactly. So they don't apply here. Right, exactly. And now we can go back into layers one more time and we can say, well, those are our team settings. Let's say we want to have an override on that on our solution personal options right there. We can do that. Let's just come in here for the solution and we can say, let's click this. And we're going to come in here. Here you can see solution personal options. That's the layer we're in. We'll choose sure. them right up here. And we're going to call this a uh, solution personal like that. And that's our new prefix. 
Okay, I'm going to click OK Good here, stuff. close it down. We're going to type in VD. There it is right there. There's my override. Fantastic. Okay, no. we should note, of course, that obviously you're not going to all have, we're not expecting people to have different um, naming conventions inside the same project based on whether they're in one team or your own individual things. This is just to demonstrate the facility exists. Uh, what would actually be more likely is that you'd be deciding to have, um, I don't know, particular functionality in Code Rush enabled or disabled for yourself versus the team because of your own preferences as to how those things work. So, right. so some of the people on the team can use some features, some can choose to disable those and instead work with other features. And you can all effectively continue to operate within the same solution. Right. So just a couple things to wrap up. If I go in straight into the Code Rush Options dialog, notice there's no layer setting here. And the reason why is because we're looking at the combination of all the layers. And so we can sure. see here for instance private fields, it says its main rule is solution personal right there. That's, That's good because that lets you see the settings that are in effect. Yes. Um, Very and good. Exactly. We can also choose what layer we want to make a change to. So from here, you can save to a particular layer if you choose to. But my preference is to come right into the options layers, make the changes here. The last thing I want to show you is if we come in here, we click in and we say, okay, what's the settings, right? We can come in there. We can see, okay, for personal, we've got editor and we've got option settings. We jump in here, uh, code style, naming convention, C sharp. And you can see there's the, uh, the prefix there that I added in the settings. You can see the solution personal prefix yeah. is showing up right there in my personal layer. And if I come down in here into team, you can see uh, if we follow that out again, editor code style, you can see there's my solution team layer right there. Sure. Okay. Excellent stuff. Well, Mark, it looks like it's, it's literally never been easier to define a custom set of settings, custom set of standards for your team, for your machine, for yourself, on, and exceptions to all of those for all the relevant scenarios and, and things basically just working exactly the way you want them. Excellent. Yeah, it's cool stuff. All right, Mark, thank you very much. We'll see you next week on Code Rush Feature of the Week. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.